good morning good afternoon good evening depending where you are getting us from my name is the lucky mom deborah nyanchoka and you is a champion is a champion welcome to our morning devotion our topic today is from a, a, a farm worker to a real land owner and they give us from the book of ruth chapter 4 verse 9 to 10 Mm, we are going to sing song hymn number 626, but before that, read the chapter you can pray for us. Let's pray. God and everlasting master of in heaven, we thank you for this day. As we are going to start our morning devotion, may you be with us and guide us. And for those who are at the hospital, I pray that you heal them. And for those who are at their homes, will you God be with them. And as we are going to do exams today, may you be with us and guide us in Jesus' name and believe. Amen. Amen. Thank you, dear champion. Uh, 626 is our hymn or song. In a little while, we are going home. Let us sing a song that we cheer us by the way. In a little while, we are for the night will end in the everlasting day. In a little while we are going home. In a little while, in a little while, we shall cross the billows foam. We shall meet at last when the stormy winds are past. In a little while we're going home. We will do the work that our hearts may find to do. In a little while we're going home. And the grace of God will our daily strength renew. In a little while we're going home. In a little while, in a little while, we shall cross the billows foam. We shall meet at last when the stormy winds are past. In a little while, we go in gloom. We will smooth the path for somewhere in the world. In a little while we're going home. I may love in heart spread around and bless me. In a little while we're going home. In a little while, in a little while, we shall close the billows from. We shall meet at last when the stormy winds are past. In a little while we go in home. There is a rest beyond, there is a relief from every king. In a little while we go in home. I know teachers fall in the city bright and fair. In a little while we go in home. In a little while, in a little while, we shall cross the billows foam. We shall meet at last when the stormy winds have passed. In a little while we go in home. Thank you, dear champion. This is one of your favorite songs. At least you have taught me today. Uh, Christine Wandera. Christine from the mom. Keep up the good work. Thank you, Clara. Amen. Good morning, Mom Deborah. Amen. Kwa wimbo mzuri. Tuko pamoja. Karibu sana, Clara. Uh, from uh, a farm worker to a real land owner is our sharing today. And the book is from the book of Ruth, uh, chapter 4, verse 9 to 10. Be the champion kwanza lazima nikuulize swali hiyo tuanze. Ah, <laughs> uh, umeiona mtu maskini sana? Eh? Kuna mtu alikuwa anga hana kitu lakini ikafika time ukakuwa tajiri. Inawezekana kweli? Eh? 
Ah, so hiyo ndio tunaenda kujifundisha leo. Una, Unasikia kama mama anaitwa Ruth kwa Bible. Unamjua yes. aje? How do you know her? Unamjua aje? <laughs> okay, okay, ni the champion. Hiyo uh, imetosha. Umeniambia umewahi ona mtu ambaye alikuwa maskini, akakuja akakuwa tajiri siku moja. So this is what we are going to share today. Ah, uh, huyu mama ambaye alikuwa anaitwa Ruth alikuwa anafanya kazi ya kibarua. Si unanga kuna watu vibarua wanachunia nyanya chai, wengine wanalima kwa shamba, si mwisho wanalipwa. Sasa huyu mama ambaye alikuwa anaitwa Ruth ndio tunaenda kuongelelea. Alikuwa anafanya kazi kwa shamba ya mtu ambaye alikuwa anaitwa Poaz. Alikuwa tu ni mfanyikazi. Unajua watu wakivuna mahindi, wewe hujawahi ona. Umeiona pale watu wanavuna mahindi? Mm. Sasa watu wakivuna mahindi huyu mama <coughs> alikuwa anaenda anachukua zile zenye zimebaki. Unajua kama watu wamevuna mahindi, alafu kuna zenye zimebaki kwa shamba hawakuziona. Huyu mama hakuwa na lolote na walikuwa na madhainilo wake. Unajua madhainilo ni ule ni shosho. Si unaona si unajua unaona shosho yako ni madhainilo wangu unajua hivyo Sasa uh, sasa huyu mama anaitwa Ruth walikuwa na Naomi sasa nataka usikize hii story leo uendi mpaka tumalize So guys uh, Ruth and uh, I'm going to read this it's from my good news version Ruth chapter 4 verse uh, 9 to 10 <clears throat> Then Paul said to the leaders and all the others there you are all witnesses today and i have bought uh from naomi everything that belonged to elimelech and to his sons chirion and malon in addition ruth the moabite malon's widow becomes my wife this will keep the property in the dead man's family and his family line will continue among his people and his in his town you are witnesses to this day So when Naomi lost her sons in uh, in that foreign land of Moab Ruth decided to follow Naomi to to Judah So they had nothing because when they came back people were harvesting but they had not planted anything because walikuwa wameenda Moab kutafuta green pastures but unfortunately uh, Naomi lost all her family within a span of 10 years then akabaki na two widows that is Ruth and Olpa lakini sasa Ruth akakatalia Naomi akamwambia wherever you go that is where i'll go your god will be my god your people will be my people then Ruth akamkatalia akasema mimi tutaenda na wewe so wakati Naomi aliamua kurudi so hawakuwa na kitu chochote but sasa uh, uh, Ruth was uh, more energetic because he alikuwa ni, ni mdogo akasema mwenyewe my mother in law haezi enda kufa njaa afadhali ni tafute vibarua nifanye at least ni walishe ni, ni, ni jaribu kuletea madhainilo yangu kitu aweze kukula. I know kuna watu wengine hawezi fanyia madhainilo kazi ati naenda ati naenda kupikia mama ya wenyewe chakula alafu ati nienda nitafute vibarua. But to Ruth she was so selfless akasema hapana. Tumefiliwa sisi wote ni wajane ndio lakini sasa hakuna kitu ya kukula. Then let me go nifanye vibarua ili tuweze kukula. So ndio akaenda akaulizia kibarua kwa uh, shamba ya Poaz aweza kupata kitu ya kukula na, na madhainilo wake. So akaendelea kufanya hapo though wal, wal, walimrecognize baadaye kuwa she was a Moabite lady from a different uh, land. But wakampea kazi and she was being protected too. Alikuwa anajaribu kutafuta hiyo yenye imebaki. They left over after people have harvested the corn. Now she was just going after them. Asanye sanya kidogo at least waende wakule na madhainilo wake. So it reached a time that uh, Naomi uh, advised Ruth, you know what? According to our culture, you can be married to poor, you can be married, you can be remarried again. Naomi aka advise Ruth akamwambia utaoga vizuri, ujipake perfume vizuri then uende pale kwa poor. Uh, ulale behind his feet. Akienda kugeuka hivi atakupata akuulize au mwambie I want you to marry me. That is exactly what Ruth did. Akaambiwa na Naomi akaoga bila alienda akalala uh, kando ya Poaz. Poaz kugeuka hivi akashangaa huyu ni nani yako hapa? Akamwambia mimi ni Ruth and I want you to marry me. But Poaz akamwambia I won't marry you because we have a culture in our community. In Israel 
uh, there is somebody close there is a one member who is a closest uh, family member who is supposed to marry you in case if that man refuses to marry you then i will marry you so aka so ikafika the following day akamwambia wewe enda akampatia chakula kapelekea mama yake akamwambia go wewe enda huyo mtu akikataa that is when i will marry you if you read that uh, from 4 chapter 4 verse 1 ukiteremka chini then sasa uh, the following day pause uh, akaita watu wachache hivi waka meet na that family member mwenye alikuwa supposed to kuwa Ruth because hiyo ilikuwa ni culture yao aka aka akamwambia you know what Naomi uh, Naomi anataka kuuza shamba ya bwana yake Wewe nyona nani niko na show tafadhali mtapunguza kuandika messages tumalize show kwanza so naomi akaambia aka ule the closest family member mwenye alikuwa anafaa kuoa ruth akamwambia you know what naomi wants to sell her husband's property and you are the person who is going to to buy it akaambia you the, that man who was the closest family member who was supposed to marry ruth akamwambia in addition to that you are going to marry the moabite widow of malon uh, together if you are going to buy the property then the condition is that you are going to marry that moabite widow that closest family member said no i won't marry her because my children will have nothing to inherit sasa vile alimkata ndio unaona poa zile alikuwa anasema nao uh, kama if you're not going to marry her then i'll marry her ndio poa za kaleta witness akamwambia you know what na walikuwa na culture kama wewe mwenyewe utaki utapeana viatu so ule mwanaume mwenye the closest family member akapeana the shoes to poa za akamwambia sasa you can by Naomi's property and you can also marry the Moabite woman that is how Poaz ended up marrying Ruth sasa yue Ruth ambaye alikuwa anafanya vibarua kwa isha amba ya Poaz amesha kwa mwenyewe I want us to learn something from here she was just a mere worker ule mtu wa contract tu unajua I know there's someone who has been doing a lot of work with my wife and I'm going to say, I'm going to fear. I'm not going to fear. I'm going to fear. I'm going to I just want to encourage you through this Ruth's story that no situation is permanent. I want to do a lot of work with my wife. I want to be a maskin for the rest of your life. I know there are some young widows when you are back. I want to say, I have no future. I want to be a young widow. I want to be a young widow. I want to be a young widow. This lady was just a foreigner. She was a Moabite woman. She was not coming from that land. But Mungu aleza kum bless na kamo over bless. Sasa, this lady Ruth, she got married to Poaz and they gave birth to a son called Obed. Obed is the father of Jesse. Jesse is the father of King David. You know, we, know, we know King David is the father of nations. Let me say like that. King David now is the most blessed king we know. He was just anointed at a tender age to become the king. So, this lineage of Ruth was not only pleasant to become the landowner, but she's also the mother of great generations. This lineage is where Jesus comes from. I'm here to encourage somebody when you lose hope and I say to you, Unajonga David, Unaskianga David. Yes. Nini unajua kusu David? Hmm? Hmm. Aujui, David ni alipuya goliath. Na huyu David ametoka kwa lineage. Ruth ndio the great great grandmother of King David. Kuna ule mtu wa, by the way, uh, I'm trying to bring the point at home like this Ruth, she was a nobody. She was first she was just a widow, a foreigner in a foreign land becoming the great grandmother of great generations. She she no longer became uh, poor again because unajua uh, sometimes what we ngine to selfish that is why we block our blessings. This lady aliamua kusema yenyewe as much as sina mtoto huyu mama amefeliwa na watoto wake aimanishi sasa usalama ama our relationship imeshia hapo I, I, I have to follow this lady nione penye atamalezia watu wake ndio watakuwa watu wangu. Kufika pale juda, hakuna kitu yenye walikuwa mefanya, hawana chakula. Hakuanda kukaa chini ya seme nyewe mimi, hapa niko kwa foreign land, 
Siwezi hakuna sijui mwenye nitaomba kazi. Alienda tu kuulizia pale penye watu wanavuna akasema anaweza fanya tu pia akiangalia leftovers. The way she was very selfless, Mungu alimsaidia akasema nyewe you are you, you are very humble. Your humility is going to take you far. Akaamua kufanyia mother in law wake kazi hata kama hakuwa na hopes kwa sababu hapa angalia hakuna mwanaume hapa na hakuwa anajua kama atawahi za tena. Lakini alisema wacha nifanye ile yenye Let's live a day at a time. Akaamua kuishi a day at a time. Aku force things like I have to do this. Na hata akungoja ati maybe aende hapo aanze kupita pita na wanaume hapo kwa shamba. Ni mother in law wake alimwambia our culture is like this. You can go. Wenda wewe mwenyewe aoga vizuri enda. Yaani sio mtu mwenye alikuwa na hiyo madharau na Mungu akamgundua akasema mwenyewe you deserve blessings. Mm -hmm. Huyo ni mtu alikuwa anafanya tu kwa shamba vibarua tu lakini Mungu akasema nitakubariki Ruth. You have shown me how, how humble you are but I'm going to bless you and overbless you. So finally Ruth got married to this man Boaz and na hiyo generation ya Naomi ikaendelea. So in any situation you are right now that is not your final destination. No situation is permanent. You might be crying today but tomorrow you'll be smiling. You might be hungry today but tomorrow you'll be eating. You might be jobless today but tomorrow you'll be employed. You might be childless today but tomorrow you'll be called a mother, you'll be called a father of somebody. It doesn't matter what you have been through. Your past doesn't matter. For your future success because uh, this lady she has just lost the, the two ladies have just lost their husbands they didn't have any future the future for them was just blood but because god was with them and guided everything they he just directed directed them to the right direction and they, later they were blessed you know this naomi naomi going to moab was against god's wish but they just went because they wanted green pastures because they, i know very well hata hapa kwa kulikuwa na njaa watu wote walikuwa na njaa but wao wenyewe they just decided let's go to moab because moab they were worshiping idols and it was against god's wish so ile kiboko naomi alipata alipoteza familia yake yote but the good thing is that she just came back to her senses akasema let me go back to my uh, land that is where i belong so it doesn't matter where ulikuwa mwenye dhambi kiasi gani you can go back to the start uangalie Shida ilianzia wapi? Naomi alikumbuka kuwa eh hey, shida ilianzia anga Petrelemu huko kwetu Juda that is where I'm heading to. Afadhali nirudi huko kwetu nianze maisha vizuri. Like you, like me, we can go back to where tuli, shida ilianzia. Unajua there's something kuna ile kuna mambo tunapitia ambayo inakuwa ni kama viboko tunapata zenye zinafasi zituamshe. We go back to where we started. Naomi went back to her origin home where they were worshiping God. Na Mungu akaona nyewe you have come back to me. I'm not going to let you down through your daughter-in-law. I'm going to bless you. That is how the blessings came. So from a farm worker to real land owner is something yenye inafanyika. This is a true story that even you penye uko saizi you can go somewhere. Mungu anaweza kupeleka kuingine. Penye uko saizi sio penye unafaa kukua. You need to go higher or you have to become successful than now so i want to encourage you that your current situation right now is not where god wants you to be mungu anataka tena ukue much higher zaidi kushinda what you are thinking right now so let's uh, get encouraged from this sort of ruth that you can be you can be anybody you can be uh, you can move from anybody to somebody Usi 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 jilimit useme nyewe mimi a uh -uh. mimi class yangu ni ya watu maskini hapo ndio natulia ni ngoje kifo hapana ni wewe ujaamua ni wewe ujaamua tu uambie Mungu wenyewe this is what i want kama unaona kama ulikuwa ni wewe ni umeamua umekuwa mwizi wewe ni expert unaweza rudi useme nyewe when i was not uh, doing this nilikuwa sawa i rather go back to where i started life from na mungu atanibariki mungu atazidi kukuinua ukijihambo the same way Ruth humbled herself you become selfless 
ukitaka kusaidia you just help without uh, expecting any return this lady Ruth kusaidia mother in law wake hakuwa anataka malipo kwa sababu alikuwa anajua hakuna malipo hakuna mwenye angemlipa but akasema no hatutakaa sisi wote i'll have to go nifanya fanya kazi so hata ile kufanya fanya kazi yake vile alikuwa anafanya kazi vizuri ingawa hata huyu mwanaume kitambo huyu poza akubali kumoa alikuwa anaona kazi yake ni nzuri angekuja tu akae na Naomi pale kwa nyumba bado wangeendelea kukula tabu yao lakini kwa sababu God directed them to the right direction. Huyu ni mwapa itimu watu wenye hawa kwa anajua Mungu, but vile alifika pale na aka follow the right direction, Mungu aliweza kumfungulia milango. Hata wewe Mungu atakufungulia milango, hata mimi Mungu atakufungulia milango. Kwa hivyo no situation is permanent. Let's learn from Ruth's story that you can be somebody. It doesn't matter your past. Your future uh, your past doesn't determine your future. It's God who determines your future. So that is what I wanted us to share this morning and encourage you that no situation is permanent. Permanent with God, everything is possible. Uh, did the champion. Kuna kitu umesoma kweli hapa? Hebu unaweza sema umesoma nini? Tuseme sasa mtu anakuza wewe umesoma nini kutoka kwa hii story? Mnatelezi ya hope. You should not lose hope. Wow, that is nice. So never give up, guys. With God, everything is possible. So ukiwa na mungu, hata wewe na kuambia, si unananga watu ingina wasama, ayo wanafanya kazi kubu, hata mi nitafika hapo, utafika. So you should never give up. Sawasawa. Okay, guys, thank you for watching. We do this morning devotion between 5 and 6 a.m. East African time, every weekday. If you get a chance, you can join us in our... Live a Facebook page, the Lucky Mom Deborah Nyanchoka. Now I'm addressing those people in YouTube. Uh, if you get a chance, you can just come. We share together, so that at least we share this journey of hope together. Chantel, Amen. So, uh, thank you for watching, guys. But before I pray, I just want to remind those people when you want to apply green card, the deadline is tomorrow, one day two. You can reach out and I can assist you apply one. Uh, let's pray as we finish our morning devotion. Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you for the gift of life. Thank you for encouraging us that no situation is permanent. We pray that you help us so that we can become selfless and humble ourselves so that you can lead us to the right direction. Uh, we pray for the sick in various homes and hospitals. We pray that you heal them so that they can continue praising your name. We pray for travelers. We pray that you send your traveling masses unto them so that they may reach their destinations well. We remember candidates of this year who are going to sit for their final exams. We pray that you help them so that they can be able to remember what they have been learning all through and come out successful. We also pray for our government. We pray that you give them wisdom as you gave Solomon so that they can be able to lead uh, your people to the right direction, Father. We also pray for our children. We pray that you cover them with the with blood of Jesus in their day-to-day -day activities, Father. We also pray for the bereaved families. We pray that you comfort them as they are in their time of sorrow, Father. We remember widows, orphans, and widowers in a special way. We pray that you provide them with their daily needs as you promised to be their Father. The activities of the day. We dedicate them unto your able hands. Whatever we didn't pray, we pray that you send the Holy Spirit so that he can intercede for us. In Jesus' name we pray and believe. Amen. Uh, thank you for watching. See you tomorrow.